Hey, if you want to follow along on my journey as I try to make a living for my family in this beautiful black Peterbilt, I'm going to be dragging loads all over the state of California and beyond. So uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to follow along. And uh, I'm glad to have you. All right. So it's finally here, guys. It's finally here. It's finally here. Uh, we're going to do a quick little tour of the truck. And you know me. It's not going to be that quick. I'm going to just blah, 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 blah. But we're going to do a quick little tour of the truck before the sun goes down. We're going to get as much in as we can. And then at the end, we're going to pop those lights on. We're going to see how it looks with those lights on. All right. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this is a 2022 Peterbilt 389 flat top 260 wheelbase. 48 inch sleeper. Well, they call it a 58 now, but it's the old school 48 inch sleeper. It's got seven inch stacks. Stove top. 90 degree elbows. Those are dummy stacks. We don't need to look in there any closer than that, okay? All right, we got an 18 inch blind mount bumper from Valley Chrome. We've got watermelon lights on the corners. We got watermelon lights on the air breathers. All right, little custom touches. All right, painted to match. We've got our under cab panels. We've got these little Doohickeys for our IFTA stickers and our 80 sticker. We got 120 gallon tanks matching on both sides. Fully symmetrical. And then they put this big old def tank on here, even though I kind of wanted a smaller one, but you know, it's all good. And uh, we're going to get a painted cover for that later. It's going to be painted black. But uh, we got the round hole, Alcoa level ones. We got Hogue Belt deep drop half fenders all right we got aluminum fifth wheel on a short slide all right we've got some pretty rad little just blank they actually sent it with white can you believe that they from the factory sent white mud flaps on this beautiful black truck white mud flaps and i'm like come on guys get a clue so we put black ones on and, uh, oh yeah, we put this flush mount, little um, deck plate in here, a little cheapy, sectional. Uh, it works pretty good. So, under the hood. Oh, my daughters, I caught them, I caught them. All right, let's go, let's go under the hood, guys. Let's go under the hood because under the hood we have a Cummins X15. Oh yeah, see how they took the uh, the red out of that? Kind of matches up the whole truck. I left this one though. I don't know, something about the front end with the uh, red Peterbilt, it's just iconic. It's iconic, I tell you. All right, so we're doing this full-on Peterbilt Steve style. I don't know if you guys watch Peterbilt Steve, but he does these walk-arounds on his trucks. A bunch of other Peterbilt salesmen start copying them too. But uh, yeah, we've got the uh, 565 with 2050 torque. So it's got the upgraded torque. But uh, it's got a 13-speed transmission. we got air ride front end. And we actually have uh, a, an air dump valve up here so we can drop the front and make it look real cool like real cool oh i forgot to talk about the visor but uh but yeah here you can see the turbo with the little the little sewage pipe um exhaust like some guys call it Got the sewage pipe exhaust. You know what? I'm not even. I'm not even ashamed of it. You know what? I'm not. Cause uh, what it let me do is it let me match up this step on this side. So see how I actually ended up getting the toolbox, and I got a toolbox on the other side instead of the battery box. So they actually sit a little bit lower. Got a lower profile. Kind of shows a little bit more of that tank under there. See how it's flat under the tank. 
I think it looks cool like that, man. Just a weird little touch that I decided to come up with. Um, this truck, this truck is my brainchild and I really enjoyed making it, man. I really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. So, uh, yeah, there's that 14 inch drop visor. We just kept the same five lights up there. The regular five lights because that's how I roll, man. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. So, this is it, guys. I've been waiting a long time for this truck. A long time for this truck. And it's finally here. It's finally here. Honestly, I could sit here and look at it all day, guys. I could just look at it. I could sit here and look at it all day long. All right, let's take a look at these lights. Let's get these lights going and uh, see what they look like. All right. And now we got our lights on. We got our breather lights, clearance lights, got our corner lights. And we got some undershine lights under here. All the custom touches on the on this truck man that's it was uh, it was a lot of work a lot of work so this is what she looks like so if you see me rolling down uh, highway 99 i5 anywhere around the golden state you give me a toot toot on your horn you let me know you saw me because uh i think this truck's pretty recognizable i know there's a lot of black peterbilts out there but None quite like this one. This one's unique. It's got my flavor on it. All right, hey, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for checking out El Hueso with me. I'll see you guys on the road. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, all the YouTube stuff. Uh, yeah, man, this this truck, this was, this was the thing I was waiting for to start my YouTube channel. And then I decided to start it, figuring, you know what, I'll just start with what I'm doing now. And it'll be like a few months when I, until I get my truck. Well, it hasn't been a few months. It's been a little bit longer. But it's finally here, guys. It's finally here. And she's beautiful, man. I, I can't say it's a girl, though. His name's El Hueso. But uh, anyway, check it out. See you guys on the road.